I think there's... Yes, you do. You're... God. Ah. I didn't want to do it, bro. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Hitman 3. Jumping back into the world of an assassin. Been some time since we played this game. Since it's been some time, I'm going to go ahead and play my favorite mission of them all. It's kind of like the private investigator. So nonetheless, let's go ahead and jump into this for Mansion Guard and see what we can get into. Seems like there's no cutscene. They just threw us into this shit, uh, but my controller's working, so that's all that matters. Fucking this PC has been giving me so much difficulty. To be able to have this starting location is actually really good because the outfit we have won't give us like 110% access to the whole place. But we have access to at least a fair amount of stuff um, right up off the top here. Ooh, poison on top of the other poison that I already had brought down. Uh, I had this dropped in the ICA facility or something. Or, I'm sorry, like the bathroom drop off, which I'm not sure where that's going to be. How am I trespassing? See, we literally have access. What? Why even have these guards in the first place? They have a fucking square inch of area that they can patrol. It doesn't make any sense. All right, well, we're going to see what we can get in these areas here, at least. Uh, we're going to have access to the kitchen. I assume it's going to keep us, like, off to the side. Oh, we're security. We're not even, like, police, dude. All right, we're going to need to up our status here, because this isn't going to work for us in any way, shape, or form. I'm just going to go around collecting minuscule things that we can use as the uh, it goes on. That's a perfectly beautiful knife that I could use. Not that knife either. Oh, here we go. Cleaver. At least I'm not visibly armed with that. I think that should be a good enough to start. I want to say I exited that door right there. So let me try to go out this door and see if this has any better conclusion. Okay, still not trespassing, so we're good here. Uh, I do have a lockpick. Honestly, I might as well just get in this door really quick just to make entry. Uh, we only have one target. It's the female target. And usually we kill her in her office. So I think we should get more creative, I guess. Oh, we're going to have so many tools. The mansion master key, dude. We don't even have to pick any more locks. That's... Actually, I don't want to carry that. Because if I carry that, then it's going to be something I can't conceal. Zachary's half-burnt diary. That's We're just huge. getting it right now, bro. Oh, shiznit. So I need to get that guy's outfit if possible. Because uh, if I get his outfit, I'm going to have access to pretty much the whole place. I will have a few pat-downs I have to endure. But I can kind of circumvent that by crawling and shit around the building like Spider-Man. Uh, let's follow this. A famous private yep. I, yep, 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 yep. Yep, there we go. Okay, he should be walking into an area where I can take his outfit pretty quick here. I don't think it's going to be over here. It's going to be somewhere... Oh, you dirty son of a bitch. Oh, I should have probably done it right then and there. Fucking A, man. Can you come back, sir? Do I have a coin? I have an apricot. Come on. Bruh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That, did, that literally didn't do anything. Oh, shit. Hey, he's a private investigator, not a Hawkeye. What the fuck? We would be so trapped if this is the only outfit that we would... Is that more poison? Oh, that was ammo. Well, that's still a stupid thing to just leave lying around. Oh, you know what? Maybe there's a distraction over here that I could do to get one of these guards over into this area. You know, some type of radio or anything of that nature i'm not seeing fucking jack here i got a looks to be a broom i'm gonna turn this on i'm trespassing too okay i can hide here this isn't gonna do much someone is alerted okay it's the guy over here i'm gonna have to fucking pick through all the damn maids and shit to be able to get to an actual good outfit uh let's get a weapon that I can knock. I don't want to kill him, but I do want to knock him out. Sorry. I didn't mean to beat the shit out of you with a fucking pipe wrench. Alright, we gotta hide this body pronto. I could get his outfit too. If worse comes to worse, I'm gonna use his outfit just to start this off because I don't want to be caught in the crossfire here. This at least gives me a little bit more access. Minus the pipe wrench. Probably should not have that. I'm not a plumber. Okay, cool. Ooh, that, that, that gives me some leeway here on what to do. Uh, not really a plan of action, but I have access to a lot more of this mansion now. This is the detective, uh, private investigator that I have to get his outfit. If I get his outfit... Oh, you know what? I have so much fucking poison, dude. I can start poisoning select people if I need to. 
Uh, I need to disguise myself as him, though. So if he goes and attempts to drink some type of anything, we can at least poison that. Oh, shit. The private investigator's outside. I feel like it's going to be one of the only times. Oh, well, there's a million people out here still. I'm not going to be able to get... Actually, I'll have a very select moment to get this guy, I feel like. Oh, she's in the fucking window. Honestly, I could do it right here. Prince from high hills. Expensive. Size six. I could totally take him out, bro. Good hit, good hit. Good fucking hit. Silent takedown. Okay. So right now we have a little bit of a concerning issue. Someone could see the body almost instantly. So I've got to get it up here, like, right now. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck. Man. All I wanted to do was fucking... I don't know who saw the body, too. Oh, instantly already out. They already have a guard out here with a gun. The guy did not see me take him down, though, so I'm not compromised. Which is good, because I don't want to be compromised. They're not hunting anymore. We were able to scave through that one. This guy just got a shit rocked, which means I'm not compromised. I could just get out of this and everything's fucking chilling. Dude, you just got your shit rocked. I'm so sorry that I had to do that to you. Did they pick up my pipe wrench? They didn't. Thank you so much for leaving it. Oh, you silly idiots. All right. Plan B, we're going to try that again. Uh, we got a cigar box that I could pick up. Can I keep it? Oh, I can Look, not a single person. So they must have only saw the body in transport there being dragged across the floor. Which, you know, an unconscious body always drags himself across the floor. Oh shit, he's booking it. He says, you know what? Fuck this place, man. I just got knocked out. I'm not going to stay around. You can investigate this yourself. Get some Ziploc baggies and a magnifying glass and you got this shit. Oh, he's really leaving. Am I able to just bounce too? Is he really leaving? I feel like I'm going to have to get searched though. Homie, where are you going? He's leaving. What? Oh, shit. Okay. Um, think, 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 think. I'm going to vault this really oh, quick. By the way, I told Homie you is you gone. I don't blame him, though. He just got... <laughs> he said, fuck this. I'm out. Drop down, drop down. Oh, there's so many witnesses. And then there's two guards over there. Once he's fucking gone, he's gone. I don't even think those are guards. Yeah, they are guards. Son of a bitch. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. He's going to just disappear when he gets to this gate, dude. That's because we attacked him and everything went south. Oh, fuck. I'm going to have to kill some people. I'm going to have to get a sour. Oh, shit. Oh, bruh. Bruh, bruh. Yeah. Got him. I don't... Oh, fuck. I think there's... Yes, you do. You're... God. Ah. I didn't want to do it, bro. I didn't. You made me. You took it to this point of no return. So, if I'm not mistaken, no one heard anything. Even though those gunshots were relatively close, I don't think the game registered anything at all. So we're going to hide this body. I just murdered four people. We are hitman though. So we've got to we've got to stay true to our roots here and not feel remorse for having to kill people. Although they only are supposed to kill targets, but you know, when push comes to shove, you don't want to be found out as a hitman. So we just had a we had to annihilate four people really quick, okay? And they're not essential targets, but that's fine. We need to talk to the butler. Again, this is the same path that I've taken many times before, so I'm not sure if I really want to carry this out to the fullest, uh, just due to the fact that we've done this. Uh, but we can at least use this to find other points of interest Mr. and ways. There has to be a ton of ways to kill her, and we just are aware of, like, just one or two ways. Okay, yeah, let's see the crime scene. God damn, now we gotta follow the slowest guy up to the crime scene right now, but at least they have mastered the art of slow walking in this game, to where you can, well, except... Okay, how about you fucking walk? I take it all back. I take it all back. The door was locked from the inside, and a suicide letter was found in his room. Bruh. However, Bruh. There we go. That's <laughs> like could not find the right position. What the fuck? not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you, so please do come and see me when you're finished your investigation. Oh, I sure as fuck will, buddy. Don't you worry about that. Mm-hmm. To my right. 
So this guy was found dead in his bedroom. We're gonna do a quick investigation. A locked room. It was it locked though when I just walked in the doors of it, but I don't know. Maybe I'm instantly to the fucking hidden door, which is fucking as bright as could be. A hidden door. Yeah, no shit. Oh, that's creepy. Mansion floor plan. I just got the goddamn blueprints to this shit. Let's open this. Hello? Somebody's been researching a miss a mystery and switch. Well, where the fuck am I going to find a mystery switch to this damn door? The room for clues, no, I probably haven't. I just went straight for the good shit right up off the rip. Let's go ahead and peep through this. Oh, boy. What the fuck just happened? Interesting. Well, what the fuck purpose would this be? I guess so you could just sit in your secret room and listen to a important conversation that's going on in the bottom of the stair set. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> like, what the fuck? All right, let's get the fuck out of this room. Some weird shit be going on in here. Uh, I'm going to double search this. I know usually all the clues are like highlighted. So if I just kind of do that and look around, I'm going to find all the Why clues. You your camera to scan the dead body for yeah, let me pick up all the weapons first. So that way someone can't stab me in the neck in case that shit goes down. Uh, we're going to hit the laptop really quick. Try to get information. 47. Your left hand Zachary wasn't even on the keyboard. God damn it. Last night. Zachary exactly suicide what note. Would, would someone really get a suicidal. fucking... Pen and ink and make a goddamn also, fucking a handwritten handwriting. letter. It could be sit down. Just sit down next to the body. How you doing, old man? Do you want me to take the camera out and photograph something? I did not listen to her when she said that. So let's attempt to just take a photo of everything we can in here. I think it was the body that she wanted me to take a photo of. That's not going to show me shit, though. I could simply look at that better than anything. I could have sworn I needed... Oh, here we go. Scanning the body. I was like, I know there was something else in this that needed to be scanned. I mean, I could tell you that he was most likely killed. Uh, marks on his neck suggest he was killed by a rare, short-lived plant poison around 10 p.m. last night. Would marks on his nest... Uh, nest on his neck indicate that? I don't see any markings on this man's neck. I mean, yeah, he is a killer, so that would indicate accurate... Okay, we Maybe did it. It's Good time stuff. To see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. Well, we can gather that. I have a feeling we're going to need to take this motherfucker out. Uh, I, I, he might have became a target on uh, other times before. Let's see if we can locate this guy. He seems to be downstairs. How do I get... How do I get downstairs? Or is it up... No, he's downstairs. Well, how the fuck do I get down there? Hello, butler. I have some bones to Mr. pick Fern's with you. Name. I'm done with the Imagine having a name like Mr. Fernsby. The time of death. Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. I call and bullshit. Someone had to be here. Fucking butlers 24 fucking 7, so there has to be Adam's night family, staff. And myself, as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask. You no, suspicious, bro? I do not have an alibi. Ah, I didn't I even ask, but you gave me the information I needed. The time of death. Here's the material that I prepared for. It's probably going to be everything that points away from him. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case. Oh, what the fuck does this look like? A Monopoly game, bro? Like... Mr. Fernsby clearly didn't commit the murder. But I How are you going to say that? Evidence to convince Madame Carlyle he did. Well, shit. Maybe you should tell him you are ready to present your findings. But then I wouldn't so be ready, though. Solve a murder mystery, 47? I'm about to find out. Motive? Someone just gave something to the butler. Tokens for Rebecca and Mr. Fernsby. According to the bodyguards, Rebecca Carlson and Mr. Fernsby, the butler, have each been given a token for a Milton Fitzpatrick Bank. When combined, the token grants access to a deposit box. Whoever holds the set, the deposit box may contain a copy of the case file of Arthur Edwards. Maybe, right? Uh, tokens for Rebecca and Mr. Fernsby. So, if I'm not mistaken reading this, I have to take, not take out, uh, Rebecca Carlson and Mr. Fernsby, the butler, have each been given a token. So if I incapacitate both of them, I can get the, uh, you know, the information that I need or the token that they have on them. So I say I do that as like a side mission. I just got to find out Rebecca here. Let's see what she, is this Rebecca? Who is you? Rebecca, I found you off the rip, dude. Okay, uh, so I'm going to need to take her out and then Mr. Fernsby. If I take Mr. Fernsby out prior, I won't be able to get access to Miss Carlisle or whatever her name is. Notarized. So I need to get rid of this guy. It's going to be difficult. Unless she kicks it in here, I can poison the water bottle because I've got a ton of poison. How you doing, sir? Looking sharp today. 
Fuck, man. Um, I could take this guy out really quick, but that would be risky because we got security guards right outside, probably armed. So if they see me, they're going to start instantly shooting at me. That's not what I want. Yeah, what is that? A fucking... Thanks, Phil. A Mori we'll paddle? I don't know what the fuck that is. Yeah, no, that's it. She didn't provide fucking any information to me at all. Um, I'm just going to keep getting any information I can. She's going to go back to this main room. So what I think I need to do is I need to take out this maid and the security guard or bodyguard in this room over here behind me, like the animal room. So when she walks back over, I'll have access to knock her out. I'm going to try not to kill any more people if possible since I've hit my quota for the month here. No, that is it. Have a good one. Thank you so much. So I'm getting a lot of intel here, though. Oh, man. Do you have any more anything? I may be wrong, but I saw Mr. Fernsby, the butler, leave Zachary's room early this afternoon. And he seemed a bit startled when he saw me in the hallway. It's probably nothing. Oh, and one more thing. <laughs> one more thing. How many one more things? Mr. Edward. He can only take so much. Yeah, I'll be sure to do that. Okay, so we finally got everything we needed. Let's start moving the people necessary. So this maid will go in the corner here. And she does something to this clock. Um, actually, I might be good, but that plant, I don't know. That's sketchy. Is there anything that's out here? If not, I can... No, I can trick her out here. All right, let's get a coin really quick. I'm going to go behind this. We're going to throw that. Yeah. We're going to get our trusty pipe wrench, which worked so well last time and then got us fucked over. Okay, she heard it. it's right near that thing, too. Oh, you are going down, ma'am. Going down, I said. Top fucking dollar, right? Top gun. Let's dump the body. That leaves one person. Security guard outside, but they're in a good position that I could actually get the security guard inside without having to worry about the security guard outside. Uh, Miss Carlisle is someone I need to worry about. Looks like she's still going to be spending a little bit of time in there. Oh, she's in here now. What you doing, ma'am? Fuck. Always got to make my job harder. When did she get back in here, though? Because she walked in that room, which means that I took care of all that when she had walked across the fucking hallway, which is not good. Oh, she does drink the drink, so I can poison that. I don't want to poison her, though, and I don't think I have sedative. Literally all my poisons that I have, well, they're poisons for a reason. Yeah, I, I'm screwed. I don't have no sedatives. Oh, wait. Did that say sedative? Uh, Consumed poison. Consumed poison. What's emetic mean? I, I would say because it's green that it won't kill them necessarily. So I guess that's something we can use to our advantage. Ah, oh, fuck. How are we going to do this? If I poison this right next to them, they're going to turn around and see that shit right up of a rip. So I don't want to do that. I need to wait for her to leave. Fucking A, man. She was gone. See, this is going to be sketchy because I got to get his body from this side of the room all the way to the other side of the room without anyone seeing jack shit and she's only gone for like a very short amount of time into that other room she takes a phone call she walks after the phone call and then goes over to the other room and the only place for me to ditch a body in here is this place over here and mind you both of these guys are here i don't think they move though they kind of stay in the same spot that they're in what is this over here oh what the shit why is this a point of interest? I don't know. Something's weird about this. Something's weird. Should I shoot the birds? Should I shoot all three of them? Maybe don't lock something? No, it's psychotic thinking right there. All right, we're going to have to do this. I don't really have a point to wait. Fuck, this is going to be so... If she sees me, dude. I'm just going to have to knock this guy out. Uh, hammer will do. Okay, we're going for it. Oh, this is going to be shitty. Shitty, shitty, shitty. Because, oh, she's only right there. Fuck, it's so close, but yet so fucking far. <laughs> like one of those things. Oh, at any moment, she could start walking back. Oh, I got to pick up that gun, too, or she's going to notice that. Come on, come on, come on. Put the hammer away. 47. Learn your place. Oh, you got two hammers. Nice. Okay, we're good. Crime scene. Oh, perfect. Literally just enough timing when she turns around to knock the body out. Knock the person out. Move the body. And then you're good. So we weren't able to poison the stuff. Then again, should I poison it? Now I can just knock her out without even having to worry. I say we don't kill any more people. If we kill any more people, we're going to make our overall score go down. And I got to get the butler too. So we're just going to knock her out. 
before she gets her drink here. Sorry. And we're going to remove her. And I see the item that I need on the ground, which is perfect. Which means the butler is going to have that. We can swoop both of those up. Um, actually, we got to figure out. Do we want to go for the butler? Do we want to go for... I should go for the target and then eliminate the butler. Or not eliminate, but, you know, get the butler's thing that he has. I don't need to kill him. That's a token for a I got the token. The Milton Fitzpatrick London Bank. Okay, you good stuff. Pair, and you gain access, no questions asked. Damn, imagine but me having both Kyle of those. Keeps a copy of the Edwards file. Cool, alright, so one uh, object done out of the multiple that I had to do here. Let's find... I see the target. Now remember, sh the only way to get her is if I'm up in that room. Uh, but the butler can guide me up there without being searched, I believe. So we have to find the butler, which I don't know where the fuck he's at, but he's... Oh, here he is. I guess we could just take I'm a look and see. Seven. This game gives me such, like, Bates Motel vibes with just, like, the darkness and the music to it and stuff. I don't know. It's a really good show, and it's, you know, this just gives me those vibes for some reason. He is booking it now. Uh, I really hope we're not going to have to get searched. We are walking up with the butler, so chances are I feel like we should be good. Uh, theoretically, at least that is. If not, we're going to be SOL here because I won't be able to walk through because I got multiple weapons on me. I got guards weapons. I got my weapons. I got hammers. I'm a fucking private investigator. I'm over here like Bob the fucking assassin. Think, not good. How you doing? Please don't search me. Please don't search me. Don't do it. Don't look at me all weird and shit. Actually, I think we might be able to make it in. The only time that this gets sketchy is if we don't have an outfit that allows this us to get pack Carlisle's this office. guy. No need to panic. Step <laughs> no need to panic. Thanks for raising your eyebrow when you said that. Okay, Madam Carlyle's office. Oh, Your this is nice. Have you to the, lion's den. the lion's fucking den. There's so many guards in here. But there's like a million guards. Now you've reached a conclusion. Take a seat. Oh, I don't remember this before. Oh, this is nice. Cinematic. I like it. Sit down. 47. Please. So it looks like we got some options. We can accuse Zachary, which we don't have that information. So we have to accuse Mr. Fernsby. Mr. I don't think Fernsby. I've done this before, to be truthfully Zachary. honest. I've never got to this point. You've got that wrong. Oh, God. She's instantly going to try to rebuttal it off the rip. I found pills in his office that matches the poison that killed your brother. Furthermore, I found Zachary's notebook, half burned. That all seems like it could be placed, though. Because, like, who would just have a half burned book in the fireplace and not realize that that's there after trying to do that? You committed nearly 50 years ago. Ooh, damn. Going down the back. older brother, Montgomery. That's outrageous. We did no such thing. No you sure about that, ma'am? I know a killer when I see one. And my discretion is assured. The papers also described how Mr. Fernsby helped you stage the murder of Montgomery as an accident. I believe... Damn, she's getting put on blast right now. ...exposed as an accomplice to murder. Sweet Fernsby. I have a feeling now he's going to get hit off. You are wrong, Mr. Whitmer. He did not do it to protect himself. He did it to protect the Carlisle legacy. Mr. Fernsby, like myself, understands that sacrifices must be made to secure stability and prosperity. Mr. Whitmer, I'd appreciate it if your findings never leave this oh room. you can assure yourself that ma'am understand fernsby's actions and there is no need for them to have more consequences than they already have fernsby was very fond of zachary and i'm sure his decision will haunt him to the day he dies what are you trying to say when we kill him have you considered an amount seven million dollars case file should i drop the case file I want Ooh. the file you have yes. on Arthur Edwards. Please give me that Arthur shit. Arthur Edwards. The constant. The constant. Hell yeah. Make my job easy. That must mean you're... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I expected you'd show... No! Fuck! Uh-oh. But you're not here to kill me. No? If you were, you would have Aim already. fucking am. Enemy of my enemy, I suppose. You can have it. You earned it. Wow, I just got that shit, bro. You gonna die now? Ooh. She had a fucking secret. So you're telling me all that next level? Oh, wait, I could have hit that too. Never mind. Does she actually put in the code? It's. I think she did. You want is in the safe. Good hunting. Good hunting. 
Really? That was simple? I need some privacy. I need some privacy. Thank you. Okay, well, that was fucking simple as shit, dude. I didn't even have to do anything. Lols? Okay, so I don't even need to fuck. Good what the shit? Time. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madam Carter. <laughs> you just push her off the fucking ledge? Like, okay, well, can oh, I. Sir. How you doing? You guys just heard all that? I can walk past her? No one's gonna do anything? No one's gonna say anything? It's okay? Everyone's okay here? <laughs> Are you kidding me? What the shit? I mean, I guess. I don't even have anything cool. I can let her open, killer. You know what I mean? Real. Oh, fuck. Don't no, walk back out here, ma'am. What the shit? You just can't walk away? Damn, she's already on the move. Like nothing happened, bro. What the shit? All right, I guess we're gonna have to go track her down. So one last thing that we have to get here is this target. And then that's it. I should have just pushed her ass off the fucking cliff. Because now we're gonna have to... Uh, we're a little late on that. She already handed that shit over like it was nobody's business, so... Well, fuck. Now I gotta take out this guy, but there's gonna be a whole bunch of guards. He's lagging behind, though, so it should be relatively easy to take this guy out. How she's not, like, dreadfully suspicious of me just following her around, I really don't know. I couldn't you tell you. Me, oh, just fantastic. Good to hear you're good, too. God, she's booking it. I gotta try to back him up a little. Because, like, we're getting to the point where we're good. How you doing? You look you look great. Your outfit looks like it was tailored so fucking good, dude. Look at that. You're not even... You're security? You're a fucking bitch-ass security? He's so broken right now, dude. Let's see where our target's at. I could fucking kill him right here. I could stiletto his ass with a mail opener. She's gonna walk back this way. I wonder if he's gonna be so broken that he's gonna need to follow the path that she took, or... It's going to be just like a random ass thing that, she, you know, he can just follow. Come on, dude. We're just going to stay right here and dance really quick. He's not even getting pissed that I'm vlogging him. Oh, this is quality. Oh, the whole family's there now. Oh, they having a little meeting? I should shoot her right here. Is there a way to get up there? Hold on. Oh, there is. Chances are there's going to be guards up there, though. No, there's not. How the stay back. fuck you? Can I drop the fucking chandelier on her face? Oh, uh, where is it? Hold on. Uh, chandelier. I don't see anything that... Oh, uh, nope. Fuck. I don't think I can right, shoot it. Long and I want to keep this short. God damn it. I know you have a lot of questions. Yes. Some I, will answer now. The rest will have to I don't see anything to do with the chandelier. Do I shoot it? What if I shoot it and then everything goes wrong? There's like nowhere to hide. Oh, I can hide here. Okay, I'm going to attempt to do this. If this goes wrong and I kill the whole family, I am the worst hitman ever. But I don't think I've done this before, so... It's only a chain link. Let me just make sure everything's good. Someone's going to hear this gunshot. I get her. Did I get her? Did I get her? Hide. I don't think I got her. She's still fucking alive, bitch. That she just survived a chandelier getting dropped on her face. I guess to everyone they just assumed that was it. They just assumed that a chandelier just broke. What the fuck? You've got to be shitting me. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> she just continues her fucking speech like nothing happened, dude. Oh god. Don't you worry. As you all know, I have a lot on my plate and need to focus on sorting everything out. So give them all you got. Okay. Please help. Mission complete. Oh. Well done, Fuck. Ah, oh, shit. I gotta hide, bro. Of course, of course, they saw me. They were so quick with it as soon as she got shot in the face, dude. That's all it takes. If they find me in here, oh, it's gonna be so bad. I should have jumped out of the window. I should have jumped out of the window. Oh my shit. I did the chandelier trick. I dropped it on her face, and she still managed to survive. That is one tough bitch, but she could not beat the lead, dude. She could not beat it. Fuck, that was close. They definitely saw me run in here, too. He popped a shot at me before we actually ran in here. That's it, though. We all objectives complete. We did that in a very rational order. That made it, like, very simple. So I'll fucking take it, dude. Okay, we're good to leave the bathroom now. I'm not sure... Why it, they ended like so quick searching for me. It's like they didn't even give a shit. 
So what I need to do is I need to get an outfit of some sort. Any outfit will do just because I have compromised the shit out of this one. Uh, I just had to shoot some lady. So the best thing for me to do, I think I have some outfits over here. Oh, I do. Yeah. I think we're going to be trespassing, but it's better than nothing. So fuck it. Oh, no, we got a guard outfit. How you doing? Shit, we out this bitch. Let's get to an exit then. We've got multiple exits. What other ones can I take here? I got one. It's 109. Those ones are locked for some reason. I feel like I'd have to complete. I'd have to complete some type of objective to get those unlocked. So we're just going to go with one of the ones that we do have. Uh, I don't want to do the front entrance one. So we're going to attempt to do whatever one is 90 meters away right here. Which looks to be some type of back exit or something. Anything I could switch up and kind of go for something else would be better. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I don't think I've done this one. This is one that I just possibly walked away from. Who knows? That was successful, though. Minus the four people I accidentally killed at the start, but I kind of had to. Had no choice to murder them, sadly. It was them or me, and I didn't want to die. Let's see what we got XP-wise. Uh, we got some new ones, though. I, for some reason, we got a sniper one. 11,000 XP. We actually unlocked... Like a good majority. I wouldn't say good majority, but we've unlocked some of those. So that's... No, I don't want to replan. Let's look at the thing. Did I rank up? I wonder if I got any more stuff that we can use during our preparation. Uh, which I really don't switch it up that much anyways. But it's nice to have other stuff. Oh shit, we're going. We're going. Location mastery. We're up to eight. Not bad. Let's see. We got sedative poison vial. We've got a change room. We got an agency pickup change room. That's something new. Uh, starting location behind the mansion because we exited that way I would assume that that's where we can also arrive which is kind of nice so we just unlocked a new starting location next time we play this we'll have to try that one out and see if it's any better the security guard one wasn't the best I'm gonna be honest it, I've seen better all right everyone that's gonna be where we wrap up this episode of Hitman 3 good to be back in this game and play one of my favorite missions in it and I think we can see that it's my favorite because of how easy we just smashed through that so I'll have to get in there and do some other ones uh, I have tried this like months ago and it's just, I was getting my ass kicked on him. It just wasn't working. So nonetheless, thank you so much for coming out and watching this episode of Hitman 3. And we will see you next video.